All right, so my next guest makes my face do funny things, like all kinds of strange you know, connotations, because I laugh so much when I'm with him. Ladies and gentlemen, with us now is Rob Magnotti. Welcome to the show. Now, does your face do funny things when you see me? Uh, after our first couple of interviews, yes, because <laughs> I, I saw we were kindred spirits with characters and voices and things and acting. Now, how did this begin for you? How did you decide to become an entertainer? When I was a kid, I would always do shows in my living room for my parents and my, my brother. I would do impressions of my relatives and friends, and then I did that in the classroom as well. And then at the age of 12, I started really noticing comedians like Billy Crystal, Robin Williams, and Eddie Murphy. And that's when I said, this is what I want to do. Now, were you self-taught, self-trained? Did you go to a class? What did you do? Pretty much self-taught. Uh, growing up with the comedy and then the acting, I did take some acting classes and of course you, you pick things up about comedy along the way from books, from fellow comedians, from the great legends of comedy. Over the last few years since I've known you, I've got to watch your career and so um, I let out this huge gasp <gasps> when I saw Paul Blart and my son Matthew was with me and uh, Mall Cop too and, he's, and I said, that's my friend. He's like, Mom, shh. Quite, quite. It's a movie, right? <laughs> so, um, tell us about your experience because it seems to me like your career is just really blossoming. It's really taking off. I'm, I'm very blessed. Uh, things have been happening. Great things have been happening. Mall Cop was definitely one of them. Uh, Kevin James saw my Letterman set, and then I met him at a party. We talked a little bit, and then two weeks after I met him, I got a call from Los Angeles from the casting director, Marsha Ross. And next thing I know, I was on my way to Las Vegas to film a scene in Paul Blart Mall Cop too. So it was very exciting and uh, it was great working with Kevin. I always admired the way he's gone from stand up to television to movies and you know that's the road I want to take as well and uh, he's just a great guy and a great talent so it was a, it was a fun time working with him and uh, you know after we filmed the scene I went to say goodnight to him and he said hey, I'll see you at the premiere Rob and I was like a, a kid at a birthday party that gets a goodie bag at the <laughs> It was awesome, but then you get a goodie bag, and it was like, I'm going to the premiere, the premiere with Kevin James. That's so it was, a, it was a really a pinch yourself experience. It was great. Now, you've been playing to sold out rooms in many mm. different cities. Uh, tell us what that feels like to be up on stage and to have that live interaction with your audience. Oh, it's, it's awesome. I mean, that's, I live for that, and I've, I've worked for that, and I thrive with big crowds. When you're crushing as a comic, it's just a zen, in the zone feeling, and a lot like when I was on the Late Show with David Letterman. That that That's I gotta huge. say, it was <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, the Ed Sullivan Theater was just magical. I mean, to be on that show, have a great set. Dave comes over, says nice things to me. You know, it goes on YouTube. It gets over five million hits. That was a pinch yourself moment as well. And and life changing. Right? Because here you were, like you said, you kind of knew early on that this is what you wanted to do. You studied from the great masters. You, you worked on your impressions. You worked on your bits, right? Um, right? Like everybody else, you put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to your career, and you still do, right? Yes, uh, yes. Because it's always evolving. But like after you did Letterman, that's almost like a garden homes of approval, you know, a stamp of approval, right? Because then other, now your phone will ring. Definitely. Yes, okay. yes. And it did. It did. I got a ton of corporate events. Uh, I got a call from the Dubai International Comedy Festival. They brought me over there to perform. And uh, I got picked up for a web series pilot with Alicia Minshew from All My Children. We filmed the pilot. That was great. And then Mall Cop 2 came along. So it really did accelerate. And, uh, but it's always a process of continuing to reinvent yourself. And I, and I love that process always improving and, and finding the next gig, the next movie, television show. Yeah. So, it helps me with my Donald Trump impression. That's so what I was going to say. Like, how, he says, like, I don't think he got it. It's not no, good he, yet. Says, he says, you know, we'll do this, we'll say that, we All keep right. working on this. And I say, look, I think it's fantastic. And I want to say that, uh, you know, I don't like when other politicians get in the way because when they do, I simply put them on my hibachi grill and I pull out my Ginsu knife hand gesture and I slice them and I dice them like chicken. Then I push them into the grease trough with the rest of the scraps. They're done. They're fired. Some people say I have a chip on my shoulder. No. I have an eagle on my shoulder and his name is Chip. So I tell people, be, be careful. <laughs> be careful because I have the hand gestures, really. Nice, <laughs> nicely done. What, what's your personal favorite that you do? You do so many, you do De Niro, you do everybody. Who do you like to yes, do? Yes, yes, uh, I love Nicolas Cage. I'm okay. a big Nicolas Cage fan and you know, I was speed dating and I, I did that because the girl said I looked like him and I was like, you are so sexy. 
you, you smell so delicious. Why don't we get out of here and go for some Chinese food? Because I can go for duck. <laughs> or we can just go somewhere else. Fantastic. <laughs> Nice. I love that. Yeah, um, that's a good one. Thanks, so you have thanks. fun. Do you practice in front of the mirror? I know when Barbara Streisand was starting to do voiceovers and stuff, that's how she would practice. How do you rehearse mm. yourself so that you can look at your gestures and your, you know, your facial expressions? Yeah, you know, I don't have a set system. Okay. Um, I just sort of absorb a person's aura. It, I have an innate ear to hear people's tone in their voice, and I have an eye to pick up their gestures, and then I just, you know, can replicate a persona. All right. You know, and so I, did you ever think about doing like the Milton Berle thing where you put on a wig and you start doing chicks too? Like, not really. Not yet? No, not okay. that. Not that. I, I, <laughs> mostly I'm, guys. You're yeah, doing mostly, like mostly. Al Pacino right. having a cooking show. Let's see that. <laughs> Welcome to Cucino Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to make tiramisu. Lady fingers, Moscow poaches, then we're going to marinate overnight in Kahlua. Hua! Hua <laughs> Kalua. All right, cheers on that one. Come here, give it up. You're cheers, so cute. All cheers, right. Cheers, thanks. Um, I, I, you know what? Yeah. I have a new one, too. Joel okay. Osteen. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hold on. Because I'm, I'm, I'm laughing so hard. My, my, my makeup is smearing. Okay, hold on a second. All right, let me, let me calm down. Okay. <sighs> I, I'm a big fan of this guy, you know, right. um, of Joel Osteen, because, I, I, you know, if I'm late for church on a Sunday morning, there's Joel. Right. And he's like, God knows that you tried to make it to church on time. He understands you stayed up a little late. You held breakfast over a little, but that's okay, because he made us like palm trees. The wind may be blowing, but we're going to stand right back up straighter and stronger than before. <laughs> And don't take yourself too seriously, because don't forget, we're here to live it up. Yes, we and are. And Donna Drake <laughs> is here to remind us to live it up live and better than we ever have. <laughs> and I'm like, amen. amen. <laughs> it's all good, right? Yeah. Who doesn't want to be happy? And you're right. That is why we have this show, because we really are trying to bring good stories, trying to make people feel good. And you get to do that every day of your life. Rob yes. Magnotti. Rob, Rob Magnotti. Magnotti. I said Rab. I don't know. That could be, your alter, could be your alter ego. I don't know. <laughs> Rob, Rab, whatever. It's Magnotti. Well, you got to see Magnotti. He's it's so true. magnificent. Um, so thank you very much for joining oh. us. So where where can we find out more information about you? you got a website, right? Yes, yes. Okay. My website, www.robmagnotti.com. And I have all my social media links on there. And people can like me on Facebook if they'd like. Yes, That's so excited to have you here. Thank you. Please likewise. stay tuned for more on Live It Up. Uh, we hope you enjoyed my friend, our guest, Rob Magnotti. We hope we made you laugh. Thanks for watching.